Good morning. We are here with Professor Joseph Brugada. He is a living legend in cardiology. And uh, he discovered 30 years ago Brugada syndrome. And so this, it was a, a fascinating journey until now. And I want to ask uh, Professor Brugada, how can you briefly summarize this long journey? Well, it has been very, very exciting because we described the first patient, as you say, 30 years ago in 1992. Since then, we have learned how to identify the patients, how to make the diagnosis, how to risk stratify the patients, to know which patient with this typical ECG would have a ventricular arrhythmia and in the worst situation, in the worst scenario, sudden cardiac death, and also how to treat them with the ICD, uh, doing electrical storms, using in the last years uh, uh, epicardial ablation. So we always say that 30 years later we are still learning because we keep uh, uh, learning more and more things about the disease. And uh, what do you expect for the next 20 years? For the next 20 years I expect uh, basically to have more knowledge on the, on the uh, genetic aspects of the disease. We are having now a limited amount of information on genetics and still we need to understand the whole picture. Also how it interacts with other diseases and with other conditions in the heart and certainly how to better treat and whether uh, genetic manipulation might be an option in the future. Thank you very much, Professor.